This evening, I want to share with you a story of a time in my life that was much, much different than my days on the homestead. And I want to tell you a story about a moment in time that absolutely changed my life forever and broke my heart just a little bit, but enough to create a change in my life that was necessary and that would be a lasting change forever. As a professional, I had a career in human resources. I uh, was working at a company where I oversaw a nice team of uh, HR professionals, uh, 1,100 employees, and you know, my career was the most important thing in my life. The kids were little, the girls were little, and uh, every morning I would get up at you know, 5.15 or 5.30. I would get the girls ready. Uh, Grace would get ready for school. I would get Samantha ready for daycare. At the time, Kevin was working from home. He had a home office and he was working in sales. And he was able to take Grace to school and I would take Samantha to daycare. Every morning we would leave for daycare at 6.15 or 6.30 in the morning. I would drop her off and I would go to work. Uh, my commute was over an hour away. I would work eight to five and then I would be home about 6.30 in the evening. Kevin's schedule was pretty awesome. He worked East Coast time, so he worked from about 5 a.m. until 2 in the afternoon. So he was able to take over some of the responsibilities that I wasn't able to do because of being gone longer um, and into the evening, and he was able to um, take over making dinner for the family. Um, he is a fantastic cook and during those years, we ate really well. On the weekends, I would be busy 
doing all of the things that I hadn't been able to do during the week. I would clean our big house, I would do our laundry, and just get as many errands done, as, men, as much work as I could get done uh, during the weekend that I could. And I remember one weekend, for some reason, I decided to make a meal. I don't remember if that was lunch, I don't remember if that was dinner, I don't remember what day it was, I don't remember what I made. And we sat down for dinner at the table, me and Kevin. Grace was probably about eight and Samantha was about four. And everybody was enjoying the meal and Grace said, Daddy, this is really good. And I looked at her and I said, Grace, I made dinner. And she looked at me really confused. And she said, Mom, you can cook? My heart broke a little bit that day. That was the start of a lot of really hard conversations with myself. What story was I telling to my kids? What memories was I creating for my children? About me, about our family, about what it means to be a mom. I can cook. I can cook really well. But it had been so long since I had cooked for my family that my children had no memory that I could cook. It was after that meal that I started to wonder, was I really doing the right thing? not just with my kids, but with my family. Were the roles that we had fallen into as parents, as family, within society, was that right for our family? It was as a result of that conversation with the girls at that meal that I started to want to redefine the memories that they had of me. I still had time. They were only four and eight. I wanted a different kind of life for my kids. I wanted a different role model for my daughters. It was after that time that I started thinking about how I could change the way I was living, how our whole family could change the way we were living, to be more of a traditional family. Come to find out, Kevin and I were on the same page. We just hadn't really talked about it. Our eyes just started opening up to what it meant for us to redefine our family. 
it's been a long road. Grace is now almost 16. Samantha is 12, going on 13. And for all these years, we've been redefining what our family looks like. And we've been redefining what our roles look like to our children so that they can make decisions when they're older about what a mom means to them and what a dad means to them, what family means, what memories should be intentional. It's not easy these days to figure out who it is we're supposed to be. And for every person and every family that's different. But we always need to keep in mind what it is that we're leaving with our children and who we are to them and who we want them to use us as models for in the future. Our family is in the most amazing place of our lives right now. I couldn't have asked for a better opportunity to share this life, but to share this kitchen with my husband, and my children. This is how it's supposed to be for our family. It is such a blessing and I can't wait to see how all of these memories unfold and change our family for the rest of our lives.